Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope we are well. Today, I wanted to talk about basics slash staples slash my go-to, my ride or die, my favorite everyday clothing items. Come on boobies, stay. Couple of reasons why. I think it's really important to nail like your faves, your basics. And I think it's also really interesting when you've got an item that you don't need to repurchase because it just does the job, it will always be your best friend. Or if there's an item that you always repurchase the same of again and again and again. Another thing also, and this isn't like the reason why I'm doing this, I just I just genuinely think it's quite interesting. So when, as a blogger, as an influencer, as a YouTuber, and you use affiliate links, like it's no, if you didn't know already, like products that are most popular on like my affiliate linking, because I can see what people are buying, it's madness. Um, what people buy the most that I promote is basics. It's mad. And so I thought people must be in demand or must be really interested in, in basics. So I thought I would show you my basics and don't worry, it's, I'm not doing this to make money. Um, I will use the affiliate links, but this isn't the primary reason why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I genuinely think it's quite an interesting subject. So anyway, without further ado, I thought I would just talk about my favorite staple, like clothing items that are just always, always wanna wear um, and never let me down. So first up, my leather jacket. This is my second All Saints leather jacket and I'll tell you a little story as to why. So I bought an All Saints leather jacket for my birthday a few years ago, loved it, was an absolute amazing, amazing jacket. Um, my ex-boyfriend, he bought an All Saints jacket and I kept nicking it because I felt that it fitted really nicely. <laughs> And I kept borrowing it. And I kind of, my old one, which I still I still have and I still like, it just kind of got made a bit redundant. Anyway, we broke up. And obviously the jacket with him. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> um, but, sorry, All Saints had a 30% off sale, which I thought, fuck it, I'm going to buy another, the, the similar jacket. So they had a 30% off. And I bought this jacket, which is, I think it's very similar to the one I kept stealing. Um, it's, it's a men's men's jacket, well they like to say it's a unisex. And I've had it for a while now and I love it so much. I think it fits really nicely. My other jacket is nice, it's more fitted. Don't get me wrong, I still love it. Um, and it's still there and I still wear it. But this is just a great oversized leather jacket that just goes with everything. I feel comfortable in it and it's just got that cool like I've stolen my boyfriend's leather jacket vibe, which technically it was before, but this is now my one. Um, but All Saints leather jackets, I love them. If, I, if, if, if anyone says that they wanna get a leather jacket and they wanna like spend a little bit more or they want something that's gonna be long lasting, um, other than obviously getting something vintage, I would recommend an All Saints jacket because uh, they're really nicely made high quality and the jacket kind of molds itself to you, like it stretches uh, around you and you know, if, if it feels snug when you first get it, they'll always say, don't size up, like that will be the right size for you. Which at first I thought was a bit, oh, but it feels a little bit tight and they're like, no, 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 honestly, stick with that size and it will stretch out and it will fit around you and I can vouch that that is completely true, but I love it. And they have inside pockets on both sides, which is really, really super handy. Because a lot of the time when I'm wearing my leather jacket, I don't actually need to take a handbag out if I'm just using my phone and my keys. Because, well, my phone has everything I need on it now. Unless I need ID. Or if I put my little purse, will fit in the pocket as well. So All Saints leather jacket has got to be my most worn jacket. I wear it daytime, I wear it nighttime, like evening shindigs, parties going out for dinner, I will wear my leather jacket. Obviously I wear it in the daytime, wear it when I go, when I leave the house. I love them also because, well, I've always, I've always worn like leather jackets ever since I was a teenager, it's just my, my vibe. But I love a leather jacket because also of the androgyny, like it, it just, you know, I like, I've started wearing more kind of like girly stuff, like floral dresses and pretty things. I have to wear a leather jacket just to kind of bring it down a few notches, bit down, bit more Helen. <laughs> I can't overdo it on the girly side of life. I just think that this makes me feel a bit more me. So that's why I love a leather jacket. Converse. I got my first pair of Converse when I was 15, I think. And they were like flame print. And ever since I have always had them in my life. I think I did take a little bit of a Converse sort of 
break, sort of 2013s, 14, when creepers basically were like really a big part of my life back in the day. Um, then I stopped wearing creepers as much and Converse came back in my life and now I have a cubby hole in my wardrobe just for Converse. I love them, I love them so much. They're comfortable, they're a classic, they remind me of being a teenager, but also like, all, like everybody, most people I know has a pair of Converse because I just think they're like so iconic and they go with most things. I say they go with everything. You can wear a pair of Converse for like any occasion, I think. I love the fact that there's so many varieties of them. Um, you can have a different pair of Converse for every single day, a different color. Um, I don't know, I just think that they are very me. I love them so much. They're that kind of standard starter kit for like, hey, I listen to bands and I'm I'm rebelling against my parents, lol. My first pair of Converse, I keep doing this. My first pair of Converse weren't real Converse, they were fake Converse from New Look and I remember, oh my God. So when I first started, oh, I hate talking about it because it makes me cringe, but when I first started like dressing alternatively and listening to rock bands, I remember um, I decided that that's what I wanted to be and that was the style I was gonna go and be in. I think part of it was influenced by a boyfriend I had at the time who I loved so much. He kind of brought out the me out of me, if that makes any sense, because I always loved rock music and I'd always loved bands and stuff. And it wasn't until I hung out with him and his friends that I was like, when I was like, 14 years old that um, they brought it out of me. Anyway, I remember saying to my mum I wanted a pair of Converse. She couldn't, we couldn't afford it so we got the fake ones from New Look and then I'd bought some like fishnet tights and like some big skirt and some uh, tank tops and I wore heavy eyeliner and... <laughs> but that's when it began. So from then on I was wearing like Converse-y types of shoes and then I think a couple of years later I was able to afford a real pair of Converse. I also had Vans and do you remember the Dunlops? Like the white and the green ones oh yeah those were the shoes the skater shoes but anyway converse have always been like a big part of my life and i just love that they go with everything i feel just very me in them i don't think i'll ever gonna outgrow them in terms of jeans my favorite go-to jeans are the jamie jeans from top shop they are my all-time favorite style jean out of anything like i know i do these size 14 tries videos and i find the best jean. One of my favorite pair of jeans is a pair of Levi's. So it's the Levi like high waist ones, which I will link down below if you want something Levi's. Um, but I think the, the jeans that I go to that are half the price of those and do so many different variations of are the Jamie jeans by Topshop. And I think I am a little bit of a sucker for those because if I see a new style that I love or something that I don't already have, I just always feel like I need to purchase them. I have whittled my jean collection down, absolute staples. So I've got like a couple of pairs of black, a couple of pairs of blue or gray sort of look, and then a few pairs of mom jeans. Realistically, you don't really need loads of pairs of jeans if you've just got like one of each sort of color or sort of style, do you know what I mean? So like a black pair, a blue pair, a mom jean. You can get away with probably only having like four or five different pairs of jeans. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. But the, the style and type of jean that I've always gone back for and it always fits me really well are the Jamie jeans by Topshop. Um, they're really stretchy and flexible. They're comfortable. They're like wearing leggings. They're high waist, actual high waist, and they have belt loops. So you can wear a belt and really cinch it in at the waist. That's why I really like them. They make my bum feel really great. You could choose the length of them. So I go for, my size is a 30-30, I call myself a square. And that's what I go for, and I really like them. So uh, my favorite ones are probably are this wet look style. And then the pair that I've got on right now, which are like this acid wash with a ripped ankle. But Topshop Jamie jeans, they are my go-to and my, my one, and I love them. On the trouser front, I, how was it that I did it? My first favorites video. I included clots, pleated clots. So trousers are, I do find difficult. Like I'm a jeans kind of girl. Um, I like a wide leg trouser. I, I've recently started wearing flares, but I think things don't change. I think my favorite kind of trouser would be a pleated clot of some sort, just for the comfort really. I know sometimes they can look pretty unflattering and it's kind of, been a done thing, the pleated clock by now. Like I've I've banged on about them for years. They've been 
in shops for years now but i just can't i still won't ever get over it like i love them this is probably my favorite pair that i have they're comfortable i can tuck any old t-shirt into them sometimes depending on how you dress them you can make them look pretty smart like wear them to the office or wear them to a meeting or you can just be chill as fuck with them and wear them super casually so these ones that i got quite a few pairs in were the top shop ones i mean i will check to see if top shop still sells this range if not, I will put some links in the description for similar ones. Josie was also a big fan of these. She still is a big fan of these. When she lived with me, we were forever getting mixed up with who's were who. I love a plain tee. I love a plain boxy tee. And there is a style of t-shirt like this, which I just have a black, a white, and a gray. And they are like my fail safe t-shirt. This is the gray version. It's like a gray mall. And I get these also from Topshop. That Topshop just do some of my fundamental basics. There, I said it. <laughs> but I love a boxy plain tee because you can't go wrong with it. If you've got like a really loud pair of trousers or skirt and you're struggling as to what to pair it with, put it with a plain tee. You can't go wrong. I love these ones because I love the thickness of them, the fit of them. They're not particularly expensive and they do them in a variety of different colors. I just stick with the kind of neutral ones. I probably will go for a tan color soon. Love a plain, see this combo. Hello, gray. Another Helen staple is a band t-shirt. Okay, so I get my band t-shirts from a variation of different places. If you haven't seen my brain, brain? If you haven't seen my band t-shirt, collection video i'll link it down below because i have done a full video on my whole band t collection but just to refresh i will buy my band t-shirts from various different places i'll either buy them from the high street if i see like somewhere on the high street does a really cool take of a design of a band that i like i will buy it no shame at all if it's a band that i listen to and i love i don't give a shit i will buy it um i also buy them when i go on to gigs or on tour uh, or watch tours, I will buy the band merch there. This is from Def Leppard, last tour that I went to see in 2018 at the O2. Um, I will buy vintage, I will buy reworked or remade. Um, and that's about it really. So it is a variation of different places where I buy them. I love a band t-shirt and honestly, if you were to summarize my style, it would be animal print or band tee and a pair of jeans and a converse. It's not that complicated. Fundamentally, that is the the easy how to Helen Anderson style. I love a band t-shirt, I love music, I love rock and roll, like it's my life, it is everything that I'm, every minute of the day. I don't wanna say, oh, I sound so cringe right now. But yeah, I love, and I love styling up with like more grown up things as well, or maturing that kind of teenage style. I do personally hate that kind of dress your age shit or like if you dress a certain way it makes you look like a student or you look like a teenager or you dress like this or you dress like that like fuck off i will dress the way i want to dress don't put me in a box mm. so when it comes to sunglasses generally i like to keep them big cat eye oversized and often like retro looking so i'm a big fan of the cat eye because it's very 50s, 60s, or like the aviator because that's very 70s or 80s. I like to keep it retro and nostalgic when it comes to my sunglasses. And sunglasses are like a huge part of my everyday sort of look. Part of the look, man. And I, I will get my sunglasses from various different places. I really love key sunglasses. I think they're really cool styles. A little bit more expensive, you're looking at 30, 40 quid. If you want a cheap pair of sunnies, go on ASOS. <laughs> generally get designer sunglasses i've only got one pair of designer sunglasses that's Mew Mew, but they're a little bit broke and that's why i don't i really want a pair of the gucci ones with the big the big ones all the like gems on love them but i don't trust myself to spend 500 pounds on a pair of sunglasses it's a disaster waiting to happen um and then lastly when it comes to bags i like to keep it kind of big and practical my bag at the moment of choice is my louis now this was a bit of a naughty purchase. Like, whoa, that was, it was a naughty, naughty purchase at the airport. It was a lot cheaper at the airport than it was online and it had been, I, 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 it was a belated birthday present for myself. Yes, I know, 
But fuck it, I'm a grown woman, I do what I want with my own money, okay? Um, I used to think that Louis Vuitton was so tacky. In fact, I still do think it's really tacky. I used to hate the logo, I used to hate the design. Um, but I think, as I've got older, I've t just come to terms with the fact that actually, there are things that are tacky and gross and I hate you, but there are some things that are tacky and I kind of actually quite like because they are tacky and have that sort of label around them. The Louis Vuitton design that I used to hate is quite iconic though, isn't it? And I think because it's iconic and recognizable, it's tacky, I hate you, but I also want you at the same time. And this bucket bag is the perfect size for everyday use because you fit everything that you need in it. It's got a little compartment in the middle. It's got a good strap, which you can change the length of so you can wear it over your shoulder, which I do, or you can make it super long and wear it like down here, but it's a bit of an awkward length, that one, so I don't ever do that. Um, unless they made another buttonhole, which I can make it a little bit longer. But I just think it is the perfect everyday bag for me. And whenever I, it comes to a handbag, I need it to be sort of somewhat practical, big, usually brown or black, um, with not too much like metal wear on it, um, because I like to wear lots of different jewellery and I don't want to go OTT with metal on my bag. But when it comes to staple bag, it, something like this is generally the consensus that, or the, the style that I go for. But my go-to bag at the moment happens to be this one. Fun fact about this style, it was originally designed to carry champagne bottles in the little, in each corner. I don't like champagne, so it'd be Prosecco for me. Maybe that's why I kind of was warming to it because I subconsciously knew that it would quite happily carry box, box, bottles in it. I don't know. But generally, those are my favorite staple kind of things and what I like to buy or wear most of the time. I don't know if that's useful or interesting to you, um, but they're just my recommendations and the shit that I like to wear. That is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that and that was interesting. All the links are going to be down in the description. I'll check you. See you guys later. Farewell. <laughs>